Student Council Secretary, and today we are going to begin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In today's Gospel, we hear of a great storm that arises while Jesus and his disciples were in a boat. The disciples were afraid. Listen carefully to what Jesus tells the wind and what he asked his disciples. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to, to him in their hearts. Surely this his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go cro across the other side. And, leave and leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in a boat. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was, was already being swamped. But Jesus was in the turn, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Why did Jesus use this moment to perform a miracle? Christ our Lord, sometimes we feel small and afraid. You are our comfort and our refuge. Grant us, grant us peace. You live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And we have a birthday today. It is Armando Cagigas Bermejo's birthday in seventh Spanish. Armando, I hope you have a fabulous day. Sending you virtual high fives. Girls, as we wind down this school year, we have to think about inventory. That means counting up all of the things that we have at school. So all those books that you brought home, bring those back. If you're a Zoomer, you can bring those back Thursday afternoon or next week. If you are a Roomer, bring those back tomorrow or Thursday. Also, we need your iPads, your Chromebooks, and your chargers. We need to count those up, make sure everything's updated. So bring those back tomorrow or Thursday. And if you absolutely need it for assembly on Friday, we don't want you to miss out. So you can keep it and have your parents bring it back the next week. But if you have another device at home, use that one for Friday. Thanks. We are the